Welcome to News in Time and Space. In order for you to explore news reports from around the world in virtual reality, we'll first look at how to interact with them. In front of you, you'll find the globe, where all news reports will be shown, grouped by countries. Connections between groups indicate that an event occurred that involved actors from both connected countries. In order to navigate around the globe, the controller's trigger buttons are used. Controls are similar to navigating a map on your smartphone. By holding one button and moving your hand, you can rotate the globe in front of you. Pressing and holding both trigger buttons and moving your hands apart or together will scale the globe up or down. Holding both buttons and rotating your hands clockwise or counterclockwise will adjust your orientation towards north and south. Zooming into a specific region will give you a more detailed view of events in that area. Events grouped by country will spill it into groups based on regions like US states or German states. By zooming in even further, events will be grouped by individual cities. Filters are used to adjust which events are presented on the globe. All currently active filters will be right in front of you. The selected time period in which events occurred can be adjusted on the date axis. For example, let's look at the last three days of news reports by grabbing the handle and pulling it towards the desired date. The events presented on the globe will be updated with our new filter in place. To the right you'll find the Goldstein scale. This value gives an estimation on the impact an event had on the stabilization of the country based on the type of the event. To filter for events that improve the country's stabilization, you'll need to grab the lower handle and adjust its value so that only positive values are within the selected range. To the left you'll find a slider to select a tone range of the shown news reports. Selecting a range allows you to filter out more positive or more negative reports and will give you an insight into the overall tone of reports on the topic. Below the date axis is the filter pool. It contains a list of all event types and actors you are currently filtering by. To the left you'll find a list of event types you can filter by. It is sorted by the number of times the event type occurs in the events currently presented on the globe. By pointing at the buttons on the left and pressing the A button, the list can be grouped by 20 categories. Pressing A while pointing at the arrows allows you to scroll through the lists. For example, to only look at demonstrations or protests, you'll want to grab the corresponding event type and drop it in the list of applied filters. Filters are taken back out of this list to be removed as search parameters. To the right you'll find a list of all actors involved in the currently displayed events. This list is also sorted by the number of occurrences of these actors and can be grouped by their initial. To only view events involving Germany, you can grab for that actor and drop them in the filter pool. To view events involving Germany or the US, you can take the US and also drop them in the filter pool. If you want to view events involving Germany and the US, you can combine both actors in your hands into one and position them in the filter pool. Now, only events involving both actors will be shown on the globe. Once you've adjusted the filters to only display events you're interested in, you can take a closer look at the events themselves. By selecting a group on the globe, for example Berlin, a list of corresponding news reports will be shown. Here you'll see the date of the report, the location, participating actors, the tone of the report and its value on the Goldstein scale. You can scroll through the reports in a group using the arrows above. For further research you can open the news report in your PC's browser by clicking the link below. The window can be closed by pressing A outside of its bounds. This functionality makes news in time and space a useful tool to gather information on collections of recent and past events and provides a new means of finding sources of news reports.